You really got to control your emotional spending. One of the things that we would do is come up with a rule. And at the time, my rule was I would not spend more than $1,000 without sleeping on it. If I found something I really wanted, if it was more than a thousand bucks, I would not buy it unless, you know, obviously if it's for a business or something and we need it. But like for me personally, if it's just a, a junk, you know, it's just an extra expenditure. That was my rule. Maybe your rule needs to be $20. Maybe your rule is a hundred bucks. Maybe it's a million. I, I don't know. But that is a good rule of thumb is set a rule for you and your partner, your spouse. If it's just you, just you then that you will not spend more than set amount of money without sleeping on it. And the reason why the sleeping, it's that you put some time in with the emotion. Like if you're out shopping and and your rule is no more than $100. And if you have a bunch of debt, it should probably be about $20. If you have a bunch of debt, you're not investing, you're not saving, it should be a lower amount. No spending over this amount. And if you really wanted it, you could say, hey, I want to buy this, but I don't have the money now. Can you put it aside for me? I'll come back tomorrow if you really want it. And then you'll find most of the time, because it's an emotional spending, you'll find that uh, most of the time you'll wake up. And if you didn't forget about it, you're like, ah, I don't need that today. Because now that emotional thing is broken. Spending impacts a lot of people. So set your rule I will not spend more than this amount of money. And by setting the rule, it's actually really free. There's no peer pressure. It's a rule. So that's emotional spending.